So we saw earlier um, a conversation talking about the hypocrisy of the liberal media that wished to corral society down a way of interpreting the events in New Zealand. That was a tragic event in New Zealand and should be utterly condemned as an evil episode. But it was an evil episode motivated by the most based, backward, degenerate racism. And the reason why the liberal establishment want to talk about Islamophobia and to assign that as an Islamophobic attack rather than the vile racial attack that it was is because the liberal establishment want to silence legitimate criticisms of Sharia law, Islamization and the application of Sharia law in other parts of the world. Which is why you do not hear the liberal establishment criticising the Christophobia that exists in too much of the Islamic community, not all of them by any stretch of the imagination, but by too much, as we saw by the example of the guy who literally on camera was saying that it is not Christophobia, and you might see it in a separate video or as part of the same, uh, not Christophobia, it's not persecution to harass Christians verbally or physically or to deny them the same rights that you would give to other people and that they should just be grateful that they can pray in their houses. That's the kind of thing that you've got to challenge and you've got to deal with. So Christians, stop looking to the liberal, pluralist, secular state to stand up for you. It's never going to happen. Christians need to find a political narrative that is rooted and based upon Christians standing in solidarity with Christians. Christians standing with one another as Christians. And dealing with the struggles that we face across the world with one accord, of the same mind, as brothers and sisters in Christ.